this is Dread from Epic Builds. And in today's video topic, it's going to be less of a video and more of a PSA of sorts, at least for the first few minutes. So I was doing some, you know, messing around with the YouTube algorithm and I wanted to look at some tags. So of course, what I do is I go into an incognito mode which does not use any of my preferences from like any of my previous searches. So I have like a fresh user so that it shows me exactly what a new person would, you know, click on a browser and type in stuff. And this is what they'd see. Now we're going to type in last epoch builds. The reason why is because first off, my name's Epic build. So it's partly, you know, in my name. First thing off, Last Epic Builds. Obviously, this is a very good website so far for uh, finding builds and for, you know, of course, making your own builds with the build planner, right? Nothing wrong there. That's like fine. And of course, on the third thing, there's me. Now, I, I did a lot of work to get this video here because obviously, stop, I'm not going to watch my own ad, uh, with the tags and the builds. I would heavily suggest watching this video if you're new and you want to like find a build for yourself because these builds still work and are very strong, but it's the second one. So I've heard of this website before. It's called Odelo. Uh, just so you know, do not use websites like this. First thing off, most of the time they're a scam. Uh, they're usually just there to make you buy money. Uh, Sir Gog has done a wonderful video in terms of Path of Egg, the Path of Exile version of these, uh, because the videos, uh, in like the guides on these websites are usually very bad so that they make you fail in game so that you, of course, buy their currency. So I'm telling you right now, do not use this website It is absolute garbage, but it was really funny to me because I clicked on their website. Cause I was curious, obviously, you know, it's the usual like buy and sell kind of website. Don't, don't use these websites. Uh, but they actually, have some builds and I'm like, huh, you know, these look uh, pretty interesting. And I thought it'd be really funny as someone who's been playing the game for like two plus years to look at these builds and tell you why they're bad. Not just showing everything else I could show about it. Like obviously buying and selling like it's useless. Right. But first off their last seed punk beginner's guide. This is one of the most outdated things I've ever seen. This is literally copy pasted from the last epoch website. This is not, none of their writing. This is all from the last epoch, uh, uh, you know, last epochs website. For instance, the bizarre, the bizarre is no longer a thing, no longer a thing at all. Like it doesn't exist. Like they got rid of the idea. They're doing something completely different, right? Uh, Gates of Memoriam is also something that's gone. Same thing with Epic's Call. So this obviously has not been updated also as well. This is this is not updated as well. None of this is updated. Like, look, it look literally like a fireball skill tree from like, like really early beta or alpha or whatever. Like all these nodes, most of these nodes don't even exist, right? So obviously very outdated information if we're going to start. But the second thing is what I thought is they actually have updated build guides to the uh, 8.3 patch. Now this is the one right before the patch that we've been playing, but I thought I would look at some of these, oh, specifically the 8.3 ones, because they're the most updated one. Now, I just played a Warpath Void Knight, so I'm curious to see what they recommend. So this is a Warpath Void Knight Sentinel. So complete build guide for Warpath Void Knight, a Sentinel build that deals a lot of VOD damage. Okay, we're not even going to get into that. And with spells and attacks. Well, first thing off, hybrid builds like this generally do not exist. They don't do well. Like if you're trying to do a specific kind of damage with your spells and your attacks, you're not going to have enough scaling opportunities to make this kind of build work. But obviously, we won't get into that. So this was created October 28th, 2020, which actually was not that like, wow. Uh, they must have just slapped on a new number because if this was created then, it must have been update, well, updated and they must have just slapped a new, you know, name on it. Most of the time, a lot of people, especially in the Path of Exile sphere, what they will do is they will take an old guide and they'll just slap the new patch number on or the new league, you know, league name, and they will market it as obviously as something for the new patch without, you know, actually vetting through the build and updating it, right? That's why I actually do not do that. I actually just 
go and make a new video because builds often change. So it's better just to replay the build all over again. Now, uh, there's some really, uh, really interesting here. So you can also view the full build on the last epoch build planner here, static orb. Oh, so we're static orb build now. Is that it? I thought we were a void knight. What? what? So ward, why would you ever use ward on a sentinel? <laughs> That's the first question. Like there have been some builds in the past that have done ward, but like, obviously, you know, don't, don't use ward on a sentinel right now. It's not really worth it. Elemental damage reduction, fair. Health regen from, oh, wait, this is for static orb. Wait. I thought we were a void knight. We are a void knight. So they literally, they literally copy pasted this part without copy pasted. This shows you how little effort they put into working on this, by the way. Just, just, just to, just to bring it home. But we're, we're going to look through here. So. The build has great tools to deal with single targets. Actually, that's correct. Void Knight Warpath is very good on single targets. If you've seen my recent video getting up to 250k crits on like a singular target, that's insane, obviously. So they're not wrong here. Warpath is easy to use skill. That's great for inexperienced players. Yeah, that's pretty true. Uh, relatively inexpensive. Yeah, it, it, it could be, it could go both ways in that. Like the version that I just uploaded is obviously a lot more expensive, but you know, it's like whatever. Uh, like might lack health if you won't get it from your gear. That's weird. Void Knights have like the most amount of HP of all the Sentinels because they have the most amount of HP stacking, or at least they can if they go vitality stacking. Now, obviously, Warpath wouldn't be vitality stacking because there's no use for that, but like whatever. Without proper gear, it might be difficult to quit, uh, clear quick packs of enemies. Well, that's actually just Warpath in general, so I'm not going to like berate them for that. Now, this isn't like the best tree ever, but like obviously taking the strength and the void res and all that, it's like not bad. Them not taking five out of five points out of damage reduction shows me how little they actually play last epoch. Cause if they actually did play last epoch, they'd know that this is very vital to any kind of warpath build. Cause that DR is amazing. So like, whatever. So they don't even, they don't even suggest it as a notable passive. Literally this passive, uh, let me, let me go to the last epoch build planner here to bring it home here. Uh, this passive right here on Sentinel is one of Sentinel's best passives. So it's really funny to see that they didn't even like talk about it. Obviously, you know, this build is garbage, but still like damage taken from nearby enemies. You're always nearby enemies with Warpath. So like, what's the point in not taking this? Why are you four out of five? That is like, don't get me wrong. Like, that's just really bad right there. Like not, not disregarding everything else that's bad about this, right? So we scroll down here. Uh, I can tell you right now from looking at this. So wait, wait, what are they doing? Wait, if they're not going, okay. So Void Knight has the very strong strength of being able to stack a lot of flat damage, which makes up for Warpath's less damage multiplier on a attack, like on a flat damage. So for instance, here on Warpath, you have a uh, added damage effectiveness of 60%. So to counteract this, you need to stack a lot more flat to do a lot more damage, right? So it's just really weird to see that they completely just ignored this. And the thing is, well, they said that they use the spells as well to deal damage, which they didn't even grab the spell void damage. So even if you were trying to do a spell slash melee void damage setup, this six points is essential because it gives you flat scaling for both of them. So that's obviously wrong. Obviously the crit multi, the HP, future strike, absolutely garbage, complete waste of your time currently. Uh, even in builds that scale void damage over time, it's just not worth it. I would just completely ignore future strike currently. Uh, this node right here, I know this node, this node seems very good in the beginning because uh, you get a lot of increased melee damage, increased void damage on melee kill. But the problem is you don't need your damage on trash. Like trash dies, right? you need your damage on single target. So this node only gives you 7% increased melee damage. And this node looks kind of pathetic when you have idols that do this for a sentinel that like have melee void damage. I'm trying to find it here. So like for instance, uh, melee void damage here, right? Like 90% 
well, this is giving you like barely anything in comparison. So it's like, that's obviously not worth it. I don't know why they have points into mana regen. Are they using mana regen to sustain Warpath? You know that war mana regen doesn't work during Warpath. So that's why most people use Volatile Reversal for their mana regen, like mana sustain. They only have three points out of the Echo Note here. And we're, they're not even grabbing the extra Echo Chance. So this tells me that they're not really caring about Warpath's damage here. You know, 15 out of 15 of the movement speed, baby. Like, you know, speed instead of, like, damage. Okay. Uh, these nodes are kind of useless. Uh, these nodes on the side here. Where are they? Uh, these nodes are the Essence. The Essences barely give you any damage in comparison. And like I said, it's on kill, which is worthless for you during boss fights. And, of course, Void Well is kind of worthless because you should be using Reversal for your mana. So I don't know what that's about. And, of course, this node Time Shift is kind of, of a meme, but, like, whatever, I guess whatever <laughs> i it's just, it's just i am confused so warpath here oh my what is this warpath tree wait what wait why does it bring up a flurry tree i'm so confused there you go okay i so the link brings you to the flurry tree? I'm like, okay, whatever. Uh, <laughs> this is all so bad. Why would you put five out of five in the channel cost when you could go one point and save yourself three points? You don't even get the extra hit damage. Just by the way, this node, the zero out of three node in Warpath here, it is literally the best node in Warpath. Like one of the best nodes because it gives you a lot of multiplicative damage, which scales with all your other multiplicative damage. So I'm surprised they're not grabbing this. Uh, so what they're doing is they're grabbing this apocalypse world here, turning it to void and then turning this into time rot or whatever. I think it's turned to time rot. Yeah, time rot. Time rot's worthless. It's very bad. So it's like, it's weird that they're like going out of their way to get the time rot. Like, and they're not even benefiting from the time rot because the multiplicative damage. So very confusing tree here. You know. Uh, if you're uh, if you've ever played Warpath before, you'll understand what I'm talking about. Like that's a very weird reversal. Wow, it just I mean to be fair, reversal has been like this for the longest time ever, so I'm not gonna complain about this. Uh, void cleave. Oh, they're going for a void damage over time setup, but that makes no. Why are you using Warpath? There's no point in using Warpath then. You might as well just not use Warpath because you're gonna have mana problems. That's confusing. Yeah, this is uh this is what is regarded as a uh what is it called? A ravaging aura build. I do plan on playing a ravaging aura build eventually, but this is not it. <laughs> Thistle Echoes. So they're trying to do a damage over time setup. I guess, yeah, I guess. I guess this could work, but like this is such a stretch. And their anomaly tree is absolute garbage. Stat priority, yeah, increased void damage. Why would you have increased melee damage as a stat priority if you're trying to deal damage with void cleave and anomaly? That's that's confusing. Side bit of anguish. You know what? That's pretty good. Wing guard. Why? Wing guards doesn't help you at all. You're not dealing damage with warpath. Dark Strides or whatever, it gives you a bunch of movement speed in the charge of Void Cleave. Like, that's understandable. That's, like, a staple for any, like, Ravaging Aura build. Like, whatever. Spell Void Mana Efficiency? An AoE with Void Cleave? Why would you need AoE with Void Cleave? Like, the Ravaging Aura is up enough if you play it properly. Increase melee void damage. That's worthless because you're doing no damage with your Warpath because Wing Guards. Like, this just shows you how bad this is. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, this is a beta version of our range cold damage minion build for last epoch. We didn't have much time for testing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I could tell. Already shows a lot of promise, even though on multiple occasions, I've tried ranged projectiles, uh, minions, and it's been absolute hot garbage. Hmm. Yeah. So, 
we could go around and like fuck mess around with all their other guides. They're just as bad. Like everything is bad. Just just don't even use this website whatsoever. If you've ever used this website, just don't use it again. It's absolute garbage. There are better places to get builds. Heck, there there are even better places in the last epoch community and the Reddit and the forums where you can get builds that are better than this. Obviously, they're not that good, but like they're better than this. It's just yeah, don't use this website. Don't use Adelo. I hope this was a very good example of why websites like this are very terrible because they just want to pump content out so that you click on it and look at the ads or, of course, buy something. So don't use this website or any other website that's like, oh, like Last Epic Builds and like, you know, like this. So I just thought I'd point this out because in the incognito uh, thing, people are going to be searching for this and clicking on this website. So either they uh, mess around with their, uh, what do you call it? Like their analytics, they bought for this spot, like they bought with some backlinks or whatever. They've done something to get to the second spot, even though it shouldn't really considering how terrible it is, but like, whatever. Right. So eh, I can't really complain, I guess. Now, we got to respect the trade here. But yeah, with all that being said, thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful rest of the day wherever you're at, and bye.